Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content in particular for the woman over 40. Now, as you can see, I have nothing on my lips except for some bliss sticks because I had to get the lips prepared for this video. They've already been um, exfoliated. They're nice and moisturized and nourished because they're gonna go through some things today with all these. <laughs> with all these different lip products. I came up with the idea with this video probably a few months ago because I love a red lipstick and I believe that it is a red lipstick for every skin tone, regardless of what your shade is. For me, I love a blue red. I think a blue red looks so beautiful and it's really highlighted on deeply melanated skin. It just looks very rich and very shiny and nourishing. I just like that color on myself. Don't like an orange red. I think an orange red looks a lot better on women who have a, a much lighter skin tone than myself, but that's just my firm belief. I just really, really like a blue red. And I just think it looks so rich and like a deep, deep, rich garnet almost not even purple, but it's just a rich, rich red. So I have, I think I tried to get blue red shades for this video, but I think I might have had, I uh, might have a couple of um, orange reds in there as well. Now, normally I do wear a darker lip liner when I'm wearing my red lipsticks or most of my lipsticks. We'll see if I'm gonna have it on today. I do have it with me. I also have some makeup wipes, which I never ever use. But for this video, I have some makeup wipes and these are the um, single cleansing towelettes that come individually packaged from Neutrogena, which I, uh, which I think is cute. A friend of mine gave me this package and so I usually will have one or two in my purse just in case I'm out and about and I can't wash my face and I just really want to get whatever's off my face off. So that's what I've used these for. But at home on a regular basis, I do not use makeup wipes, but I will be getting this lipstick <laughs> and these lip stains off my lips today with this makeup wipe. So I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 different lips, 12 different lip products um, that I'm going to try on today and I will grade them on a scale of one to 10 based on the quality of the product. I wanted to do wearability, but that would have taken me a much longer time to create the video. I would have had to wear them and then come back and let you know how well they wear. Although I've worn two of them extensively and I can tell you how well they wear and also based on price because uh, a couple of them are really pricey. At least one of them is really pricey. And so I'll, I'll tell you whether I feel like it's worth the price. So if you like to see me try on these red lip products, then stay tuned. Now, let's get started. Can you pull it in? Just remember I'm 4K so I can Oh, okay. And I okay. prefer the option to be able to do that while I'm editing. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Thank you very much. I love you. Come on, let everybody see your new haircut. It's okay with you got on a t-shirt. It's Saturday. We're going to... Look at my honey bunny's new haircut. Any? Did no, nobody asked you for a side. Nobody asked you for a side profile. <laughs> I picked it. I did good, didn't I? Open this makeup wipe so it'll be ready. All right. I have my mirror here. The first makeup product. This is really pretty. That's the packaging is really pretty. It's an ombre pink to red. I think that's really pretty. Okay. And it is $15 and it's Juvia's Place and the color is so red and it says that it's a rich cherry red hydrating matte lipstick. So it's not going to have a shine. Ooh, this is definitely looks like an orange red to me. Let's see, here's what it looks like. It's pretty aesthetically pleasing. It's really pretty. This is what it looks like. It has the J on the top for Julia's place. Really pretty. Okay, let's let's, let's see how this goes. Mm. This don't look. Mm. Okay. A mirror out. Let me wipe off my bliss sticks. I 
saying? No product on my lip. I'm gonna have all my foundation around my mouth. It's going all the way off. Okay. Has a little bit of a scent. Stomach. Mm. Mm. Um. Mm -mm. <laughs> this is uh, not a cherry red, in, in my humble opinion. This is definitely an an orange red, and let me see. I could probably make it work. Let me try my eyeliner on with it. It's not richly melanated. You can see that I had to put several layers on. Better, but, um, put that over there so the camera won't get it. Uh, no, I don't like it. I don't, I don't like it on me. It may be nice for someone else. It needs a little more pigment in the formula, in my opinion. It feels great. It's nice and silky. It is matte, but it is not a cherry red. It does feel very hydrating. That it does. So if you're looking for a cherry, not a cherry red, if you're looking for more of an orangey red lipstick that's hydrating, that is not heavily um, pigmented, maybe this is for you. The price is $15, so it's okay, but th this is not the color for me. Mm -hmm. Let me get this off my mouth. I feel like a clown. Okay, it's off. Good gracious. Okay. All right. Next, we have the Tasha Denona, and the color is called Emilia. And it says that it is a crimson red with a cream finish, and it is $27. Now, that's, that's she's she steep. She, 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 she's steep. Ooh. Okay, it's pretty. This is, focus, Ooh, this is what, uh. <laughs> this is what it looks like, um, it is a lipstick, comes in this little tube, let me tell you something, Natasha, uh, for $27, we need more product, ma'am, we need more product, it's pretty, it's, it's really, the packaging is beautiful. And it has a little magnetic closure on it. That's that's beautiful. That's innovative. I like that. The color looks definitely to be a deep, rich red. But that $27 price tag. Okay, let me go ahead and try this on. Okay, goes on. Goes on well. You don't you don't have to put layers and layers of it. It's richly pigmented. Okay, she she pretty. Don't need a lot, you yeah, because, <laughs> and you're not gonna get a lot with this this little bitty packaging. You don't need a lot. It's beautiful. It is it is pretty. Um, is it a crimson red? It is definitely a cream finish. It's nice and creamy. It's uh, more of a heavy formula. Don't need a lot. One stroke. You don't need to go back over that section of your lip again, like that. It's not a true, true blue red. It's, it, it's not an orange red either. It's somewhere in between. I think it's pretty. Um, I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. Would I purchase again? Would I repurchase? I don't know, but I will, but I will wear it. I will definitely wear it. I think it's beautiful. I love the fact that it's creamy and that it's highly pigmented. The packaging is pretty, it is slim. It'll fit into like a little small purse, so I don't have to worry about that. Don't know if I would repurchase. I think that $27 price tag is steep, for the, especially for the amount of product that you're going to get. Now, I, I, it's long, so hopefully there's lipstick in this entire tube. So hopefully you're getting your money's worth, but I think $27 is, is a bit much for a lip product, but it's, it's pretty. It's not the true blue red that I love, but I think it's pretty. 
Next we have Dance With Me by Mac, and this is what it looks like. And let me see. It says it is a deep cranberry red, a liquid lipstick that provides a rush of pigment soaked color in a velvety matte finish. Okay, okay. So here's what it looks like. Packaging is pretty. <laughs> oh, they, they put that on there, didn't they? What a, I can't get it off. Oh, there, okay, there it is. Was this just, wow, okay. Okay, has a nice doe foot applicator. $25, let's, let's see what we're working with. Let's see if it has a velvety matte finish. Okay, very pigmented. Very pigmented and thin. It's not thick, it's not heavy. I really like this applicator a lot. This is pretty. This is pretty. Yes, it's $25. I love the color. It's definitely a blue red. I love the texture of it. It's not heavy. Uh, the, 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 the Natasha, Natasha. The Natasha Denona is um, a heavier lipstick, has a heavier lipstick feel, very creamy. This is very thin. You can barely tell that it's going on my lip at all. It's heavily pigmented, which I love, so you're gonna get, you don't have to use quite as much to get the look that you're looking for. Oh, it's dried down, very matte. Really pretty. It dried down a blue matte. I think it dried down almost, uh, has more of a raspberry red than a blue red, but it's really pretty. I would definitely repurchase, but not for a, blue red look not for a blue red look i love the feel it feels as if i have nothing on my mouth at all nothing i can't even tell can't tell at all i love this love it with repurchase yep love it how's it y'all like my part <laughs> okay next let me get this off next we have cherry moon it's the packaging by Sephora. This is what it looks like. And it says it is a matte red cherry liquid lip stain. Lip stain. It's creamy, weightless, and transfer proof coverage lasts all day. So this is what it looks like. Has a nice little doe foot applicator. Now, let me just say, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a little biased with this one because I have this tube came out of my purse. I have a backup tube, then I have another tube that I purchased for Shadia because I love it that much. If your ba best bang for your buck, before I even try anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this is it. That $15 price tag, first of all, this color is almost always sold out. Every, every time I go in the store, I can't find it. So I've had to order it on. The first time I found one, haven't been able to find it since, I had to go online and order. Beautiful. I love it, it does truly last almost all day. I've worn this at, before breakfast, I had breakfast and had lunch and not had to reapply. It lasts that well, it really does. And it is definitely a true blue red. So let me put it on. See, very light, very pigmented. This is what I'm looking for when I say I want a blue red. You don't have to re-dip your applicator inside to get more product. One dip will do for your whole mouth and this will last you all day, like at least eight hours. I love this. This is a true blue red. It's pretty. It dries down matte, but not it does not so matte where you feel like your, your lips are cracking or are peeling. It's just a beautiful, very well made product. It's soft, it's silky, it's weightless, everything they say it is. So next I have Fenty MVP. This apparently is the lip 
product that Rihanna had on for her Super Bowl performance. And it is $29, pricey. Um, it is a blue, it says it is a blue red velvet liquid lipstick, provides intense color with one stripe. Okay, okay that's, that's a mouthful, that's a lot now. Here's the packaging, it's beautiful. This is what it looks like. It says Fenty across here, has a little clear thing and has an FB inside the little clear thing, looks like a holographic image. Let's open it up. Has a, oh, it looks pigmented now, let me just say. Has a little doe foot that looks really pretty. Let's say, let's see, it says one, one swipe. Intense color with one stripe, let's see. Whoa. Now, that's a lot of product, really. This is very, very creamy, and there's a lot. She did not lie. No lies were told. Wow. Wow. Um, I have never seen anything like this. It's really creamy. Um, it's really creamy and there's a lot of product that comes out on the one. As you can see, I only had to use that one application. It, she did not lie about the one swipe thing. Um, it's a lot of color and it is a velvet liquid lipstick. It is velvety, it's creamy, it's matte. This is pretty, this is really pretty. Um, and it's called MVP, is a blue red? I don't think this is a blue red. I don't think this is a blue red. It's really pretty, it's, it, for me, on me, it's definitely an orange red. It's intense, it's pretty. I personally would not wear it like this by itself. I would definitely put on some lip liner with it. I feel like I just need to calm the edges down so that there's, there's a gradual uh, color from my face to my lip. It dries down very matte. It's really pretty. It's pretty, it's beautiful. It's a, a, a beautiful product. Is it worth the $29? I think so. I definitely think so. I think this will last a while. If you love this color, it's beautiful. This is a great, this is a beautiful product. I love it. I do. I don't know if I would repurchase because this is not a color that I would normally get. I would have to wear this to see how comfortable I am with this particular color. It's, she's bold. See me from a mile away. She's pretty. Okay, move on to the next. Let me get, this is pretty, oh wow. So the next product is from Fenty is, oh, let me start that over. So the next product is from Fenty as well. It's the same packaging. So it's from this same line of products and it is called the HBIC. Um, we won't talk about what those letters stand for. And she says, this is a deep garnet red, which means in my opinion, it's probably gonna be more of a blue red on my skin tone. Yeah, this looks deeper. So same application, doe foot. Let's see what it looks like. It's $29 as well. Let's put this on. Boy, this is thick. This is thick. It's in my stomach. Stop, I'm not even hungry. This is more of a blue red. It's a deeper, deeper than a blue red. It's a matte color. More of a, not an orange red, like a bright orange red, but a just, just of a, a deeper color than the first color. I don't know what I can say about it. It's like a red with more of a, a brown undertone with a little hint of brown in it. I do like this color a lot. I like this color a lot. This is, feels like more of a fall color. It feels nice and creamy and silky on my lips. I can definitely tell I have something on my mouth, but it feels nourishing and um, moisturizing. 
moisturizing, yes. And the product, there's a lot of product when you pull the wand out enough to go on both lips and then some. So do I think it's worth the $29? I do, I do like the color. It's not the blue red, like the Sephora blue red, but I, I do like it. I think it's a beautiful color. It's pretty. My stomach won't stop growling. What in the world? So the next product, here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. Making my ass cross. And it is called Radical Red by Lime Crime. It's $15. And it said it is a deep blue toned and full red coverage and long lasting. Now, let's talk about this packaging. You get a zero out of 10 for packaging. I guess you get a one since it does hold the product. But this is cardboard. This looks, this looks like something I would, I would buy for like a, a 12 year old niece with some lip gloss or something. This looks very, very juvenile. The whole thing is cardboard. It looks really cheap. I don't like it at all. It, it just looks very, very cheap. I don't even think it's worth the $15 price tag. Like it's jet cheap looking. I don't, that is terrible. That's terrible. But let's try the product on and see how the product is. At, at the end of the day, that's, that's what we're, that's what we're here for. If the packaging is horrible and the product is fantastic, then I, I guess it'd be okay. But let's see what it looks like. Now it says, Deep blue tone. This is not a blue. Let's okay. Let's see. Very smooth. Oh, she orange. Okay. Um, the formula is really nice. It's nice and smooth and creamy. There is nothing blue about this. <laughs> There is nothing blue. This is not even red. This is like a uh, orange, orangey, orange with a hint of red in it rather than red with a hint of orange in it. The formula is nice and smooth. I can't lie. It's, is it worth the $15? Nope. It's heavily pigmented though. If you want the pigmentation and then you love the color, it's creamy, it's pretty. The packaging is terrible. So what does that make the product? Okay, the product, I think the product is good. I think it's good. The color is off. The, the, the coloring is not what it says it is. But other than that, the formula feels really nice on my mouth. I can tell that it's on. It's nice and soft. I don't know how it will wear all day. It feels like it will probably rub off. Um, but it feels nice, but it's definitely not a blue red. It's, de it's, it's definitely an orange with a hint of red, <laughs> with a hint of red in it. Let me go ahead and get this off. W would not repurchase for, for me. Would this look pretty on somebody else? It probably would of a much lighter skin tone or not even much lighter, a lighter skin tone. I think it would, let me see. Let me, let me see if I can finazzle it. Put this lip liner on. Okay. Okay. I like this. Now, if I were going for a, for, or for an orangey look, as you can see, I put the dark brown lip liner on. That's pretty. That is pretty. I think that's pretty. I do. If I were looking for an orange and not a red, I would definitely purchase this. I would repurchase this. Even with the cardboard, I, the cardboard packaging, I think it's really pretty. Okay. Guess you just, some things you just gotta work with. Get this off. Oh, that can't right off. That wouldn't last long at all. Mm -mm. One meal, it'd be a wrap. Next, we have Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in American Doll. And it says it is a classic blue red matte formula that dries to a weightless powder for smudge proof wearability. And it's $20. Here's the packaging. Looks typical, it's pretty. It's really pretty. I can already tell it's not a blue red though. It's really pretty. Here's what the applicator looks like. I like these applicators too, they go on really nice. So let's, let's try her on. 
Wait a minute. It's, wait a minute. Okay, that far it didn't look like a blue red. This close, it looks like a really classic red. Okay, Anastasia. She's pretty. Love the formula. Love this applicator. It's really soft. It's really soft. It feels very lightweight on my, on my lips. Very lightweight. I really like it. I like it a lot. Dries down matte. It's a, it's a true red. It's not a deep, deep blue red, but it's definitely a true red. Would I repurchase for $20? I would. I would. I think it's really pretty. Um, if I wanted to look a little darker, I would line my lips with a darker lip liner, give it a much deeper look. Let's go ahead and try that. I like that look. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. I think it's a pretty red. It's a true red. I think it's really pretty. So I would definitely repurchase. Next, we have Rare Beauty. It is $20. And it says a cream lipstick in the color Strengthen. Okay, Strengthen. It says dark, cool red, hydrating with a velvety matte finish. And this is what it looks like. This is the packaging. The whole packaging is matte. Lipstick on my hand. This is this one. Let's see what the applicator looks like. Enough, nice, pretty applicator. This looks like definitely looks like a garnet red to me. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. This looks like a winter color. So let's go ahead and try it out. What does this say? Dark, cool red. Yeah, this is more like a garnet. I guess that would be a cool red. It's not heavily pigmented. Pigmented. It's not heavily pigmented. <laughs> it's not heavily pigmented. <laughs> okay, you got that right. Um, if I wanted it to be much richer, I would have to put another coat on so it doesn't have a lot of pigment in one swipe. I would have to at least use two swipes. It feels very, very soft very creamy not heavy but creamy all at the same time if you wanted something light something more of a garnet red i guess a garnet red would be a cool red it's not a blue red it's more almost of a more of a burgundy look i love it i would repurchase this it's 20 dollars, but i would definitely have to use two coats if i wanted a much bold richer color on my lips it's really soft it feels like lipstick. It didn't feel like, um, what does it say it is? Oh, I guess it is a lipstick. <laughs> it feels like a regular lipstick instead of one with an applicator like this. It feels like a regular lipstick and more of a garnet rather than a blue red, but I think it's really pretty. Next on the list is uh, Givenchy. Ooh, look at this packaging. It's Givenchy. It says Rouge Grain Deep Velvet Matte Lipstick. Best-selling lightweight matte lipstick, long wearing up to 12 hours. And it's called Rouge Grain. The packaging is everything. The, this is velvet. <laughs> this, is, this is just beautiful. It, it's just beautiful. Very aesthetically pleasing. Comes down like this. These, you can, you can buy different covers all different colors and designs um, from the website this is what it looks like she, she looks pretty she looks beautiful this is what this is what it looks like it looks matte it looks pretty this is very light this is beautiful this is, okay packaging packaging 12 out of 10. let's go ahead and try this and see what it looks like and it says again Velvet, deep velvet matte lipstick. The formula is beautiful. It's nice, really nice and creamy. It's really pretty. Now it doesn't say what color red it is on the website or if I forgot to write it down, but this is, it's a red. <laughs> 
It's obviously a red. It feels, it, it looks like a red with a hint of orange, not a hint of blue. Very creamy, feels fantastic. Packaging, I think is definitely my favorite out of everything that I have on today. It's beautiful. It's $40. That's a lot of money for a lip color. It feels high end. It feels really creamy. It's not heavy. It's not thick, but yet yeah, it's creamy and nourishing. I don't know how to explain it other than that. It's beautiful. Is this my color? I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel like it is. I would have to line my lips with a dark brown liner to kind of tone it down a little, just a little bit. I would probably wear this with a brown liner around the outside to tone it down a little bit, maybe a little bit of lip gloss to shine it up and make it just pop. I do think it's pretty. I would have to think really hard before I purchased a $40 tube of lipstick. It's pretty though. I'm gonna use it though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it too. I'm gonna use every drop of it. But I, I don't know if I would repurchase this particular, this particular color or a $40 tube of lipstick. I just, that, that was just, I'll have to think about that. I'll think about that. Cause some things I just, I'm just not gonna buy. That might be one of them. But I bought it for this video. I bought it for y'all. I, I don't know if I would repurchase. I'm just gonna be honest. Because of the price tag, because of the price tag only. But that's it. Go ahead and take this off. Okay, what's next? Oh, this is the most expensive out of the bunch. This is Chanel. It's Chanel Rouge 99 in the color in Pirate. It says, a non-drying satin lipstick in an intense long wearing color with a velvety satin finish. Has jojoba oil and shea butter. Okay, wait a minute now. In the formula for a moisturizing comfort and feel. This is packaging. Simple black has Chanel down here, has the CCs at the top. How do you get, oh, there it is. Oh, that's the bottle. So you mash the, the gold part. That's the bottom. Pull it down. That's, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Let's see if we, there it is. That's a really pretty red. That's really pretty. This is the $45. I don't want to pull it all the way up. It might break off. That's that's beautiful. Let's go. Let's go ahead and try it on. See about this. This, this, this color is pretty. Yes. The color is beautiful. It's definitely a blue red. The color is beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. It looks chic. It's just really pretty. Um, let me read this again. Non drying is not going to dry. Satin lipstick. Mm -hmm. And an intense long wearing color. I don't know if the color is intense. I can't say the color is intense. I think it's pretty. Um, I can definitely tell there's some oils in it. I can tell, I can tell there's some shea butter in it. It feels very nourishing. It feels very smooth. It feels, just feels great on my lips. I could, this would be an everyday lipstick. I could wear this every day and know that my lips are not going to be dry at the end of the day. Do I think it would last all day? I don't think it would last all day because it has the oils and the shea butter in it. It's going to be, it's going to come off a lot easier than say, the Sephora lip stain. I think it's really nice though. $45. I know I said I would have to think about purchasing the Givenchy again, but the Chanel, I would. <laughs> yeah, I would buy this again. I would buy this again. This would certainly be a perfect everyday lipstick because I love the lip stain. I think it's fan it is my favorite color. This color is a perfect blue red. It's not heavy. It's not really, really intense. So if I want a bold matte look, this is not what I'm going to pull. This is not what I'm going to grab. If I want a satiny everyday, pretty nourishing look, this is what I would grab. It is not an intense color though. I don't see there's a heavy, heavy pigment in it, but it covers the lip. Um, it's expensive though, but I, I would buy it again. 
yes, I would purchase this again. Even, even for the $45 price tag, I would. The formula feels amazing and I love it. I love the fact that it has jojoba oil and shea butter in it. I think that's wonderful. I think they're looking out for the health of my lips like I am. <laughs> Last but not least is an oldie but goodie and she is, let me, wait a minute, I gotta take the lipstick off. Let me get this Chanel off. Last but not least is an oldie but goodie. If you know Mac, you know who she is. And it is Ruby Woo by Mac. And this is what the packaging looks like. This is what it looks like. Make sure I got the right one. Cause I can't see. Oh, I can't see. But yeah, it's definitely Ruby Woo. This is what the pack, this is what it looks like. And it is $22. And it says a very matte, vivid blue red, long wearing with intense color and a matte finish. Now, I've worn this before. I've probably had three or four tubes of this, so I know that it wears well. It lasts almost all day long and it is indeed, and it is indeed a blue red. It's a beautiful color. $22 price tag, do I think it's worth it? Yes, indeed. Let me go ahead and try it on. When they put that down because I be done broke this. This is the color. If you like Tracy Ellis Ross, this is what she has on when she's wearing her red lipstick. So this is a red lipstick that looks fantastic on a lot of different skin tones. That's pretty. This is a blue red. This is a true blue red. She's pretty. The formula is honestly not my favorite. Um, it goes on, not heavy, but it's not, it doesn't just smooth on really easily like the Chanel or the Givenchy or some of the other liquid lipsticks, but it gets on, it does the job. Um, I would probably wear a bliss, some little, uh, Blistex under this, just make sure my lips are nourished under it and have some moisture under it. The color is beautiful. It's gonna last a long time. I don't know if it will last through two meals, um, but it does last a long time and it, the price for the product, I think is right, right on. Just a great product in my opinion. I love it. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So, uh, out of all the ones I've tried today, best bang for your buck is the Sephora brand and it's $15. This is the best bang for your buck in my opinion the most heavily pigmented and velvety are the fenty lipsticks they're heavily pigmented and really soft and they have a lot of color and there's a lot of product that comes out and it just feels very very creamy um the most nourishing and the one that i almost my favorite i know this sounds crazy is the Chanel. Chanel is my second choice and I know the price disparity between the two is crazy. This is 45 and this is 15. But I like the fact that this has shea butter and what else did it have in it? Jojoba oil in it. So it feels very, very nourishing on, on the lip. That is what I have to say today. I think that's it. That's it. So this is my favorite. I don't have a least favorite as far as packaging concerned this is my least favorite that is just terrible they need to fix that that's just that's that's trash I, I think the juvia's place is my least favorite as far as color i don't i don't really like this color on me i could make it work with some lip liner but i don't want to have to really have to work to make it work but i would i will since i have it but this is my favorite the chanel is my second favorite do i have a third do I have a third? It probably would be this Mac, the first one. Well, that's it family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, I will leave links to all of the products that I've tried today in the description box below the video. I also leave them on my website, angelamichelle.com. You go to the very top and it says YouTube videos and shop my YouTube videos and you will see a picture of each product. Now, no matter where you are in the world, I want you to know that you are important that you are loved and that I greatly appreciate you and I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.